Hello everyone, Mr. Kaczynski, working in section O, two-dimensional figures of IXL's eighth grade math skills. We're going to introduce complementary, supplementary, vertical, adjacent, and congruent angles today. So let's uh, define some things. Okay, complementary angles uh, means their sum, the sum of their measures is 90 degrees. They add up to 90 degrees. Two supplementary angles, a pair of supplementary angles, their sum would measure 180 degrees. When you add them together, their angle measures would be 180 degrees. They would make a straight line as opposed to a right angle for complementary. Vertical angles are opposite angles made by two intersecting lines. I'll show you those. Um, and it's we should know too that vertical angles are always congruent to each other. Congruent means they have the exact same measure. So there's another definition. And adjacent angles are two angles that have a common side and a common vertex. We'll talk about what that means as well. All right. Um, so which angle is congruent to angle BFC? Let's see. Angle BFC. That is definitely a 90 degree angle because these two lines are intersecting at a 90 degree angle as indicated by that red mark. So congruent to BFC would be any other right angle. So what about angle EFB? EFB. Nope. What about DFA? DFA. Yep. That's a 90 degree angle, isn't it? It's also a vertical angle um, because they it's two intersecting lines. And these are the angles that are across from each other. And two vertical angles will always be congruent. So CFE, no, that's more than 90 degrees. And DFE, uh, no, that's an acute angle. So DFA is going to be our answer on that one. Adjacent angles have the a common vertex and a common side. So AEB, AEB is this angle right here. So which one is uh, adjacent to that? DEC? DEC, well, they have a common vertex right there, but not a common side. What about CED? CED, well, that's the same one as DEC, so no. Um, how about AEC? AEC. Um, they have a common vertex uh, and a common side, but... They're, def they're not adjacent to each other. Maybe that definition doesn't do it justice. And what about um, BED? That's, that's the one we want. See, they share a side and a vertex. That's the one we want. Vertical angles, uh, BGD. <clears throat> so BGD, right there. Um, and so it's formed by line D A and line B E. Okay. So the one vertical to that would be this angle right here and they are congruent and that's E G A. There it is. E G A or A G E. Complementary. Remember that means that they add up to 90 degrees. So E F A is this angle right here. Okay, so the only angle I know that's gonna add up to 90 degrees with that would be this one right here, AFB or BFA. There it is, AFB. And supplementary means two angles that add up to 180 degrees, or they make a line if you put them adjacent to each other. So DFE, is this angle that's marked as a 90 degree angle. So any other 90 degree angle would work. What about DFA? Uh, DFA, that's more than 90 degrees. EFB, EFB, that's a 90 degree angle, right? So EFB, we'll check AFC as well. AFC, no, that's obtuse. AFB is acute, so just EFB. Let's run through those just one more time here. 
which angles are congruent to each other? Well, those are congruent to each other because they're what we call a vertical. These are vertical angles as well. Five and seven are vertical angles. I should put three marks there. And uh, six and eight are vertical angles. So any of those pairs <clears throat> are congruent to each other. So how about um, one and four? One and four, nope, those are supplementary. What about five and seven? Yep, those are vertical angles, so they're congruent. What about one and six? One and six, uh, absolutely not. And what about four and seven? Absolutely not either. So there we go, we got four, five and seven. Adjacent angles. All right, we'll just go through these. Nine and four, they have to share a vertex and they have to have a common side. Nine and four, uh, they definitely don't share a common vertex. What about 11 and nine? 11 and nine, those are called vertical angles. They are not adjacent. 11 and 12, yeah, those are adjacent. They have a common vertex right there and a common side right there. 10 and five, Let's see, no, those are not adjacent. They have to have a common vertex, so 11 and 12. Supplementary, they add up to 180 degrees. Angle one and angle two, yeah. They, have, they also happen to be adjacent, but they make a straight line there. So that's how we know that they are supplementary. Seven and nine, no way, six and eight. Those are vertical, four and two, those are also vertical. One more here, trying to identify a supplementary angle to angle EGF. EGF is this angle right here. All right, so supplementary means it adds up to 180 degrees. So there's two ways we could look at it. We could look at it like this side, okay? So then FGB, this angle here, FGB, would add up to 180 degrees with that one. So FGB, there it is. And we could also look at it like um, FGB, that blue angle right there, is made up of this line, FC. And then we can see that this angle makes a straight line with it. So it's going to be 180 degrees, and that's C. G E C G E is right there. Okay. F G A F G A that's way too short. That's just a portion of what we need. And A G C A G C that's too short as well. Okay. So those two angles on that one. All right. So, we just introduced complementary means they add up to 90 degrees. Supplementary, they add up to 180 degrees. Vertical, uh, two lines formed by inter uh, that are across from each other and formed by intersecting lines. Adjacent, they share a, uh, a vertex and an adjacent side. And congruent angles, uh, they have the same exact measure like vertical angles. All right, that's all I got for you. Good luck.